ready to start rolling? Almost, almost. You want these two? Yeah. I need those. I need Bye. Bye. What? Bye. Not right now. Later on, uh, Bobby will help you out. I love when I talk into a hot mic and forget about it. <laughs> That's one hot mic. Are you ready? Are you? What's the uh, what's the difference? Is this just random giveaways? Okay. Um, so we're gonna, we're gonna... You ready? Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Everybody wants to take a seat. Shh. I'm such a mom. When you talk in whispers, everybody gets quiet. You all know that trick, right? That's a total mom trick, right? Just try it. All right, before we get started with all the fun, we're going to just do a few repeat announcements. I'm going to let Bruce retell the story of the badges, just in case anybody's in here wondering why their badge looks not like the one next to you. How many people's badge caught fire? One, two, three, handful. That's fun. Um, we, we didn't put that in the spec. Um, so uh, just so we know, uh, we, had, uh, for, we finally decided to do custom uh, badges, but we wanted to do something that was kind of composed and was actually useful. So that's a Wi-Fi chip that we had as a signal strength indicator for the ShmooCon network. Um, the guys in labs turned it into a war walking contest. What in the absolute fuck is that? You have to wear this during closing. Says who? Says your wife. <laughs> Am I allowed to keep my pants on? Yes. Okay. <laughs> That's actually, a, did you see this is a movie memorabilia from Amadeus? What the hell? Is it really? Amadeus, <laughs> I can wear it too, it depends. I, oh, there we go. Oh, yeah! All right, this is what you came here for. Remember, you paid money to be here. It's all your fault. Um, and there's bacon. Why is there bacon? Bacon. Um, anyway, I'll, I'll make this even shorter now. Uh, you can flash that badge. They turn it into a war walking contest. It's hackable, but our goal is to not have it be uh, nearly as hackable. <laughs> Fucking Christ. Um, we ended up losing a box of badges. It was all the speaker badges, all the staff, that's still mine, all the speaker badges, all the staff badges, about a third of the um, attendee backs and about a sixth of the attendee fronts. So we had to make badges for the staff and speakers that were just laser cut, whatever the hell we had in the garage. Uh, for the attendees, if your badge is two-tone, it's because I had to order blue plastic um, and cut the back out, uh, and we screwed those in later. And then uh, there's some of you, we just ran out of parts. So for all the speaker, all the staff, and some attendees who got here late, you just got the circuit board, which really wasn't ideal what we wanted. Probably for the people that catch fire, did you just have the circuit board? Like, I don't know. I don't know. Is it, okay. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks. Good feedback. Um, <laughs> My presumption is that's how they short it out, but if they short it out of the ejection molded plastic, we actually have a whole different problem. I would take the batteries out before you go to the airport. Um, no one should be responsible for downing an aircraft. Um, yeah, sure. Thanks. This is fucking. Who's got some X? I really need some Miracle X right now. Mouse a little tinny. Got to bump it back up again. Um, so you know what I'm talking about. So um, if you submitted a CFP um, uh, response 
and uh, you would like feedback on it, if you'd send us the request for feedback, uh, we have it and we will get you feedback. If uh, you haven't sent us a request, please send us a request. We're happy to provide it. I will note it may take us a little while. Uh, we have to recover from the con and then start sending these out. We were hoping to do some last week, but it didn't work out because of ye old badges. And lost and found. Um, uh, we just have a number of items at lost and found. I think there's still a phone and at least one. Oh, the phone got returned. But there's a really nice hoodie that I might take home if you don't come claim it. Um, um, the, yes. ho the hoodie was from Mexicon. Oh, so that went home too? No, no, no. I mean, that's where it was left. Oh, yeah. that's so? Well, I'm just saying. It narrows down oh. the, the group okay. of people that lost hoodies. What he said? <laughs> I don't care. God. Oh, my God. All right, so now this is what you've all been waiting for, right? This is your favorite thing. If you've never been here before, I wish, so wish, I could get us into the Guinness thing. But I can't because I'd have to get all your names. So we'll never be the world's largest game of rock, paper, scissors. In fact, we went, I took my kids to a concert a couple of years ago. Do you guys remember that? And we played rock, paper, scissors at the um, Steve Miller Band concert. And they were taking everybody's names because they were trying to set a world record. But we could beat that in spades. It's just reasons. So. So, who's been here for the rock, paper, scissors before? I changed it on here. Okay, here's the deal. Uh, for those that have, you need to pay as much attention as those that haven't because you screw it up every year. So, um, <laughs> the way this is going to work is when I tell you, you're all going to stand up, you're going to turn to someone, the, the partner, per, part, person on your left or your right, you're going to pick some direction to turn, you're all going to pair up. <laughs> I'm going to give you a couple seconds to figure this out. Do you see him? What? Oh, right. <laughs> Follow directions, Rob, God damn it. Um, and when we go, it's going to be on three. So it's going to be one, two, three, shoot. So he always does paper. No, it's not on three. Oh, it's not on three. It's going to be after three. So follow the directions, asshole. So I'm going to say shoot, and that's when you're going to do it. So we're going to one, two, three, shoot. See, you got paper again. I won again. No, it was a demonstration. It was, it was actually a prop. Oh, for God's sake. So... Um, Anyway, what the, if there's a tie that you keep going, one, two, three, shoot, until somebody gets, oh my God, it's all fun and games still. It turns into what happens later. Um, so when you lose, <laughs> when you lose, sit down. That's how we know we can move on, because once we see people stop. But the important thing is, don't then randomly turn to someone and start playing another game, because it's actually to your disadvantage. We've had people get so amped up to like play rando rock, paper, scissors, that they'll go through like five or six rounds and lose and sit down. And if at um, least half of you don't sit down, we know you're cheating. Yes. Yeah, so if you see cheating around you, let us know. Um, we'll deal with it somehow. Um, so uh, it, unless we're telling you don't play, okay? So we're going to have you stand up. You're going to play a game, the loser sits down, once everyone has sat down in that round, then we'll go. Okay, ready? Everyone, stand up. Find a neighbor. You got to play a game. All right. All right. Nobody's playing. Nope, don't play yet. Don't play yet. I didn't tell you to go. Ready? One, two, three, shoot. Lo losers sit down. The communal groan there was actually pretty good. They all lost. They all lost, yeah. All right, keep standing up. Winner, stand up. Okay. Um, these guys are still... <laughs> oh, there we go. All right. Okay, the next one. Ready? Find a... Oh, we still have people. Just do a line of sight. Line of sight, yeah. Ready? One, two, three, shoot. Loser, sit down. All right, fine. There are a lot of people sitting down. I have no idea what's going on. Fine. Jesus. All right, five people nearby. Ready? One, two, three, shoot. Losers sit down. We're going to do one more round. Line of sight. You can just point at somebody and be like, you, we're doing this shit. Ready? One, two, three, shoot. Losers sit down. Winners, winners from that round, please come forward to collect your ill-gotten... Oh, no, no, no. Line up. Just line up. You don't win anything yet. Just line up. Winners, come forward. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Skip. 
Then keep going. Keep Turn going. You up. can't have a tie. You just, it's not. Uh. Okay, okay. Line up. It's like baseball. You play until everyone's bored. Okay. We need to do one last round up here and then we'll. All right. So now we have control of the people up here. All right. So big line. big line. Make a big line. Stretch out. Spread out. All right, so as we're all situated up here, we're going to uh, start, start on that edge, start pairing up, pair up. Don't do anything yet. Don't, I, don't, don't do it. Don't, seriously, seriously. So pair up, Just pair up, work your way down the line, pair, pair, pair. Yeah, th then the next two pair, the next two pair. That dude's on his own. <laughs> Fuck it. Just pair up with somebody next to you. <laughs> there we go. We got this all figured out. We're, we're working all the way down to the end. Now, I'm... After the count of three, and when you're ready, one, two, three, shoot! Losers go sit down, winners stay up here and win. All right, perfect. Oh, we were actually playing rock, paper, scissors. No, rock, paper, scissors, Spock doesn't count. Spock doesn't count. No. You both win! Move on! All right, everyone else come forward and get something. That was fun. All right. All right. So, Rock Paper Scissors every year is sponsored. Rock Paper Scissors every year is sponsored generously by uh, No Starch Press. So, No Starch gives us a bunch of books to hand out to you guys for winning the, this game. So, thanks to Bill, thanks to the whole No Starch team coming out, selling books, and giving us a bunch of free stuff. All right, can you grab a book? One book and go. Yep, one book and go back and sit down. Uh, we're going to be announcing the sponsor contest winners throughout the closing. Um, just a PSA, we're going to match winners and prizes. I, they don't need to come up, right? Um, yeah, they, well, so as we go rapid fire through this, we will be announcing the um, contest winners for some of the different sponsors that were out in the hallways out there. Uh, if you're here and the company is here, you can all wave at each other and try and figure it out, which is just a PSA to help not make you mail things, I, I guess. Okay. Okay. I did a thing again. You did it again. I don't know how I keep doing that. Yeah, there you go. This is self-explanatory, but um, this was as of like, I don't know, like 11 or 12 o'clock. So I don't think we had anyone check in after noon, but that'd be weird. That's pretty good. That's like 68 people, 67 people. I'm aft. Uh, next up, most admission guys are going to come up and uh, go through their contest. Put it on auto advance. Can I? No, you always do. I do? Oh, no. It, you sent us a PDF. We had to manually <laughs> paste each page into it. So, no, you get to hit the space bar. Oh, excellent. Uh, so, we did the badge contest. Well, as Bruce said, they weren't really our badges this year. So, we did lanyards. And we'll get, and we'll get to that uh, as we go. So, here was a website. Uh, there was a lot of stuff in the program. And on the website that you had to go, you click the links, and there's uh, a bunch of different puzzles. The two rows on the left you had to solve basically first in order to get your rocket to launch and uh, go to the moon. So the downlink codes, the, we had uh, some octal things in the program, just uh, moon phases that corresponded to uh, different letters. Dvorak keyboard there, if you converted that, you were able to get the codes. Uh, Shmudoku, this was also in the program. Uh, you had to look, uh, the front and the back pages, they sort of lined up, you looked at where the moose is the meese, moose, moose were, uh, and they were the ones that you blocked out on the previous page. Dewey Decimal, all ISBN numbers bracketed with the letters that we had to get in the title. We had a error because no starch changed one of the book titles, um, and we were doing all unpublished books, but that's what you get. Uh, this was just you shifted, just Caesar shift each uh, row by the number on the right-hand side. Hi, Sierra. I am Moose. You just type in root and bang the login button. And <laughs> after a while, the, the, uh, the, the code will pop out. Uh, this was Chain Gang. This was just a blockchain of, of uh, all the different hashes. And you had to go through and just pop them out. Looper QR code. Um, we just went diagonals. But if you added them all up, it just made a nice QR code that you could scan. The snow code, if you put these in two different browsers and you sort of switch through it, the sort of the fade rate on the LCD, you could see the code pop out, but you just overlay them and the code is right there. Uh, word search, you map them all out and you look for the intersections and that's the code. So here we are at the mission path. This is sort of the main main thing. Uh, 
we put stickers in the badges or in the bags because we didn't have any. Once again, we didn't have anything up for the badges. So you take these. These are all sort of Linux time codes. You take that minus the launch date, and you're able to get a number. You sort of convert that to hex, and then you get ASCII out of it. Um, here's sort of the thing, and it says send moose to moon, and there's slash n transmission. So if you go to slash n transmission, there's a little uh, webmail thing. You say moose to moon, and you get a nice little uh, pop-up box, and it tells you the rest of the rest of the information that you need for the second stage, the Apollo guidance computer registers. This screwed a lot of people up because they were trying to pop it into all sorts of, you know, various um, emulators and things. But you only needed to look at the registers in the memory offset. So on the right-hand side, you just sort of look at the registers and say, okay, this is register 0, 1, 2, and that just corresponds to A, B, C. Uh, from there, we get a keyed vision air cipher with a sextant and Andromeda. And sextant is the instrument that they actually used in the Apollo uh, mission to line up their uh, spacecraft. So from there, uh, lunar orbit uh, is a is a four square cipher. It's sort of a fancier Playfair. Um, really straightforward. You just go through that with the key and uh, the answer. Time to survey your landing site and prepare for descent. Create a unique orbit, and we sort of swish those together uh, using Moon's gravity. So we have the cipher text. You use XOR with ASCII 1.622 for the gravity, and you go ahead and you get circularize your orbit by shifting the positions, then decode your landing instructions with authentication code. And you use all the codes that you did in the first part, and you encode it, and you send it in using these Jefferson wheels. Um, we sort of hinted about that, but you, pe people did it. Um, and so you slide it around, and uh, basically what you do is you, on the right-hand side, you once you get all your matchings, uh, you line up the right-hand side with the uh, with the code, and then you shift them all over, and then out pops on the other side, congrats. So if you go through, you're not done yet. It says, uh, say, you have to send us, um, where is it? Oh, one small step for Moose. So you have to send that encrypted with that key. And the winner was Pikachu Mafia, which is the second time in the row. So they get three tickets to next year's Schmoop Off. And then uh, we had a nice runner-up runner that was able to solve them all, too. Um, maximum effort, so. Cool. Are they here? Or is anybody already Yeah, there? Pikachu Mafia's right there. I see that. Where is the Pikachu Mafia? I can't see him. Can you, what, no, I mean, no, I can't see you. What, uh, he's kind of hard to pick out. Wait, is it the guy in the hoodie? Yeah, okay, it's the guy in the gray hoodie and the guys in the black hoodie. I see you now. Is it, is it just the three of you? It is just the three of you. Three of you? Okay. They're not, they're kind of nodding. I'm not, okay. So, um, you guys get tickets to next year, but I, I have some space pens for you, too, that you can. All right, and then maximum effort. Where are you guys? Three, three of you. Come on up and grab a no starch book and an urbane water bottle, please. These are yours. Cool. Yay, and th thanks to you guys for putting this on. I really appreciate it. This is uh, awesome. Very cool. So, uh, there's maximum effort. They would, oh, they get that stuff. Yes. Yay, swag. Uh, Grim had a contest. We're really, again, uh, appreciative for all the sponsors that have contests. Um, they actually didn't put the company name, so make sure that's Okay, uh, um, uh, their Howdy Neighbor contest. First prize was a first prize Raspberry Pi starter kit to Robin Mindy, and second prize is a can of kit Raspberry Pi. Is that? Uh, it was kind of blurry. Okay, it's kind of <laughs> there's a lot of Raspberry Pi stuff that was given away uh, to Team Greatest on the Planet. Anyway, uh, um, that's not what GOAT stands for. It's uh, greatest greatest of all time. Thank you. I can't spell. So anyway, uh, thanks to Grim for their contest. Yay! I'm a little big guy in a little coat in this thing. Um, there may be a, a problem. So uh, Barcode Sparcode is going to come up and talk about barcode stuff. Right, Forgotten? Yep. Excellent. Here's Forgotten. Hello. So this year we had a little bit lighter entries, only about 14. We had our lovely checkbox, did not follow directions, and submit a valid Schmoocon QR code. And also the checkbox of did not scan properly without a phone. Uh, with 14 entries, uh, the three winning ones were the Shmoo Constellation, 
a Journey to Babel badge, and Two Other Worlds. Uh, there was an honorable mention to Hello Mark Chang for the uh, German license plate, which he still has not collected, so come <laughs> see me. Um, uh, hopefully he is here somewhere, because we have something for him. Come on up. He's Come on up. And uh, Cern, Cregan, and Amanda, uh, I have your email addresses. You all be receiving a free ticket for next year. Um, thank you. Thank you for competing. Please compete against oh. next year. Oh, there we Here go. Here are the actual entries. I was going to actually yeah, I want you to yeah. say what the entries are. There you go. From the far left, uh, Journey to Babel, the badge from uh, Star Trek uh, Season 1. Journey to Babel is the episode. Uh, in the middle, we have Amanda with the plan uh, Two Other Worlds uh, diorama. And on the far right, Cregan with um, his en uh, Sorry, fail. Uh, Shmu Constellation, which was a really interesting 3D version that he literally spent every minute until he was about 90 seconds before the contest closed when he finally uh, was able to get it to scan and show up the table. And then our honorable mentioned the Shmu license plate, which was awesome for Germany. Thank you. Cool. Please compete next year. Thank you. Uh, Novetta had a giveaway. Uh, a Poke 3R keyboard uh, goes to. Uh, I don't read Leet speak on Sundays. Um, it's, it's Bob Rob got the keyboard. So thanks to Novetta for doing that. Yay! <laughs> Luis, is he coming up? I Ken? Think he's gone. He's gone? Oh, oh, right. He had to leave, I think. Uh, Shmukon Labs, we had 50 APs up and running, uh, most users on 5 gig. Uh, which is kind of cool. We're finally reached the point where everyone's up uh, Actually, doing... Actually, that's last year's stat. I don't think it's true. All right. <laughs> Wait, the rest of them are good. I just, I don't remember that There's one. a graph. It looks like math. It's correct. <laughs> the green is good. The blue is bad. All the other numbers are right. Okay. Just that one. Okay. 440 people. I, I, somebody asked me, is like, this is the kind of conference that nobody comes and uses the Wi-Fi, right? I'm like, no, like 20 to 30% of the people use the Wi-Fi. Uh, so that's a pretty good uptake, 440 individual devices on the Wi-Fi. I don't use the Wi-Fi. She doesn't use it. It's funny. She will not. She, and she is so adamant about not using the Wi-Fi. So this is the computer that she only uses at ShmooCon. Uh, anyone know what this, this kind of thing is? No, not the, the kind of computer. <laughs> MacBook. You know how many USB-C ports are in this? One. One. So she's got this adapter. And she has a USB, like old school USB connection, and she can either have the printer or a network cable plugged in, but not at the same time. So when she needs to print, she unplugs the network adapter and plugs in the printer adapter, and it's like, oh shit, that thing's still on Google. Unplugs the printer, plugs the network adapter back in, downloads it. I'm like, you could use the Wi Fi. She's like, fuck the Wi Fi. I'm like, okay. Because clearly, this is far superior. So if there's any Apple engineers that want to do like a bespoke, uh, MacBook with two USB-Cs will pay for it, like, because she ain't going to use the Wi-Fi. You can just take the space that the Wi-Fi chip was and put the USB-C connector there. It'll be totally okay. Or you... <laughs> we didn't want to tell her about the hub. It's way funnier this way. <laughs> so... So um, the folks in the labs made a war badging contest um, because why wouldn't you? So the idea was um, your badge then turned into a little war driving machine and it walked around and collected all the SSIDs that it saw. And when it got back to the rumpus room or what was the romper, what's the open network that's here? Romp. Romp. Yeah, the romp network, open whatever network. It would connect to it and just blast into some web service. Here's all the SSIDs that I saw. And so uh, as you walked around town going to get lunch, you would collect a bunch of stuff and then come back here and barf it back up there. Uh, and then it would say, if that was the first time I saw this SSID, you get a point. And so there were people roaming around trying to war drive, war walk, whatever, DC with their SmooCon badge, which is cute because we didn't really want people hacking it, but what the hell. Um, uh, third place is I3602U. Is that a chip? I3602U. I3602U. Is that me? Is that sexual in nature? I don't understand. I, sorry. Uh, second place is Jackal, and first place is Golden. Uh, Golden gets to skip the line next year and buy a ticket, and they all got space pens. So thank you to the uh, war badging people. Wireless CTF. Rick is coming. Rick, don't fall. 
Rick, I know you fall a lot. Rick has been injured in more ways in the last two years than I can even admit. So, yeah, be careful, be careful. All right, he's good. Could someone could lay down on the floor so he could fall on him later? All right, thanks for uh, having us back and not falling again. Um, so this year we had uh, a new team win first place, which was cool because we've been having some prize tours over the last couple years, um, and they came in second. So 31 players, 13 teams. Uh, we've created about 42 gig of data and probably half your war driving. Um, and an honorable mention to fifth place. Today we had a guy come in. That's a really loud mic. Had a guy come in and said, hey, I hacked the badge, and all I'm doing is handing out handshakes based on the APs that you guys are putting up. Can I get points for that? I said, yep. Anybody that puts in one of your handshakes, gets 75, you get 75 points for it. He ended up in fifth place just by being cool as shit with the, with the badge. So that being said, uh, Majestic 12, come on up. Um, got a Star Wars fighting drone. Um, Eddie, thank you very much if you're still here. Gave us a, uh, gave us the um, a hacker family picture. Um, real cool, yay, hacker family picture. They got a shirt from EFF. Um, a war collar, um, eye scope, dope scope thing, and uh, $150 to Micro Center. So good job, guys. And, uh, and our coins. So, <laughs> second place, Crimson Agents, come up real quick. Wherever you are, come get your stuff. I'll just set it up here because you guys are all the way the hell in the back. But again, thank you for playing, everybody. And contestants, thank you for playing without knowing it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to the Wireless CTF guys for putting this on. It was great. You guys even did a Wireless CTF in the bar the night before yeah. the con and gave away a free ticket to the con. Woo! So these guys are pretty hardcore. So a lot of thanks to the Wireless CTF guys. Did you guys all enjoy the party last night? Yeah. Um, you guys drank $15,000 less than last year. Yeah, right? Right? Dude, if I had known that there were going to be a bunch of lightweights here, yeah, um, no clue. I was shocked. I was shocked. I, you know, I mean, I haven't actually like gone through that with the, but yeah, that's the that's the beginning numbers. So it's a little weird. Um, anyway, I just wanted to give mad props to our party crew who is sitting here in front, and Branson's here. Branson's kids were taping down wires last night. Our DJs. Um, the 501st for sending the uh, two Imperial Guard members to, uh, you guys were so funny. I was, I was laughing so hard. Y'all coming down the stairs in the back, and, you know, they're like, you know, papers, please, or, you know, please show some identification. Y'all got you know, driver's licenses out. And then, every, and, and then everybody would come down the stairs, and they'd show us the X. Like, the X was the deal. All that meant is that you got tickets. It was an entry to the party. It was pretty funny. Yeah. But you're never there. I'm never there. I am, I am antisocial. Um, I don't know who that is. This was confusing to me. If, which one's the proper noun? Um, <laughs> King and Union. What? He's a DJ, right? I know that now. Okay. Was Sean L. Goddess their contest or another person? That's a winner. That's a winner. Oh, we got tickets to Steve Aoki. Ah, oh, I thought we were giving tickets to Steve Aoki. And the other thing was like a weird. That's what I thought. Yeah, okay. I had, I had no idea. What? It's been a long weekend. Holy shit. I had to send somebody to figure that out for me. Okay, well, the crowd figured it out for me in a very embarrassing way. Yours yeah. was probably less embarrassing. So congratulations, and thank you to uh, from King & Union for having the contest. So, woo! Uh, Raytheon also had a contest. The $50 Amex card went to Tyler Lindsay, and uh, they just finished with their CTF. We'll contact the winner directly. Thank you. That was very, very instructive. So thank you for Raytheon for um, letting us know who won. Yay! Yay! All right. So as you know, when we um, what? Shit! Shoot! <laughs> wow. Okay. Here we go. Boom. Just a minute, please. We're doing some accounting. <laughs> Yay! All better. Um, I swear I did that earlier. I'm now worried about the rest of the slides. Did I save it? Guess we'll find out. Um, so these were the counts as of, 
about two hours ago, so they're probably up slightly um, from there. Whenever we do bags of crap, these numbers go really high. So I'm really pleased to say that we will be giving um, probably much more than this, but at least $7,300 to the EFF, $6,700 to HFC, and $4,100 to the Planetary Society. So. Um, and if any contests or people were doing random EFF and other fundraisers at their contests and you still have the cash come see us, we'll make sure it gets to the right place. So, because um, I know I have the Hack Fortress money still. Oh, okay, but don't okay. stop. Okay. No, oh, go back. Go back. Yes. Talk about our other... Oh, yes. Um, and and Shmukhan, uh has also uh, uh, been involved in sponsoring the... Um, uh, Children's Science Center in Northern Virginia. So for those it's that not built yet, not built yet. So they have an area in um, one of the malls around here, and it's a, a nice little place you can get together. But they're building a whole facility up where 28 meets 7, uh, up by the Dulles Town Center. So uh, childrenside.org, uh, we're helping them along with a lot of other. Uh, five thousand dollars a year five, for five years. Five thousand dollars a year for five years. We're going to be contributing to the Children's Science Center. Um, so if you're in the area and you want to help um, uh, get uh, kind of a lot better STEM exposure for our kids, it's a great facility that they have now. The new one they're building is going to be fantastic. Uh, Childrenside.org. Check it out. So thank you. The oh, EFF, come up and say some words. Yep. That's unless Sam switched. There we go. <laughs> you are not, yes. There we go. Just a, a quick word. Thank you so much for the generosity that uh, all of you know. We had a lot of people come by the uh, membership booth. We had a very generous anonymous uh, donor who uh, did a match for up to $5,000. We met the match, so we got that. We got 7000 plus, could be more, from Shmu itself. So. Thank you all so much. We really enjoy being here, helping people out, uh, and we've had a great con this year. So see you next year. Sam from HSC. Uh-oh. What the hell? <laughs> all right. Uh, Johnny sends his regards. And, uh, he is unfortunately not able to be here. His daughter is getting married this week. Don't tell him I said ev that to everybody because, I don't know, it's not private, but you know. Uh, <laughs> we'll tell you where later. Yeah, we'll tell you the location up in Michigan, I mean, later. <laughs> All right, um, big thanks to Bruce and Heidi for putting on ShmooCon, of course. Everybody, of course, puts uh, a lot of effort into this, the whole staff behind Shmoo. Uh, it's huge to be here, it's awesome. Uh, big thanks to HFC staff, uh, John, John, Jimmy, and Gavin for their support behind the table. That's Hi, huge. John, John. And a big thanks to all of you in the audience, attackers like you that create the foundation for organizations that can survive like HFC or EFF. It's because of you that we are here and in existence. I'll give you an example. Over the last two and a half months, you know, we, we recognize the Puerto Rico catastrophe that happened uh, in many different ways. And because of your efforts and your donations, we were able to raise uh, $30,000 that went directly down to Puerto Rico in support of 10 different communities. Now, if you stopped by the table and saw the community kits, that's huge. So big thanks. Thank you. Uh, we did roll out a new site this weekend, so be kind. If you have seen any issues, let us know. Um, I want to point out one thing about that site. We rolled out a new way to collaborate and communicate about service projects. So the HFC community, uh, if you go to the projects page, you'll see our, the community, new community forums listed there. Please sign up. Please engage, be part of the action, do stuff in your local community, and reach back out to us if there's anything we can do to support, whether it's even just sending t-shirts to wear or propaganda to sell, for instance, stickers, swag, you name it. Uh, if we can help in any way, put you in touch with the right people, we're happy to do so. Uh, so go do that uh, as soon as you get back from ShmooCon. Um, lastly, I wanted to do a small little auction. Um, there's a history here, and I can let... Uh, Josh, uh, elaborate on this t-shirt. I'm just going to say that Bruce is not allowed to bid on this. <laughs> this is a size 2X. Bow to my firewall. No, 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 wait. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, what does it say? Over to you, Josh. 
Now wait, I actually believe it comes with a sticker that might be made available in coming months if, I don't know, the master doesn't get bought and destroyed. <laughs> Bruce, you get to pick one. You get the T-shirt or the Stargate, but not both. I want either. <laughs> Who'll start me no, off? 50. I got 150. I got 500. <laughs> I got 1,000 fucking dollars for a T-shirt and a sticker. Wait, wait, we need to stop for one second. Can I ask again? What is this shirt? <laughs> was anyone actually there at DEF CON when I gave that talk? I went back and watched that later and I was like, what the fuck was I doing? Like, I was like, <laughs> I was barefoot on stage, pretending to be Linus Torvald, smoking a joint. You know, it was, oh, it was terrible. I've got a thousand dollars for a t shirt. <laughs> Will anybody give me more? When our kids were little, I would ask them, what does daddy say? And this, I think this was from the same talk, and my kids would go, blah, 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 dot, dot, dot. It was the same talk, indeed. I've got a thousand going once, going twice, sold the blue night. Thank you, blue night. One of the things that, uh, thank God. <laughs> one of the things, one of the big supporters behind HFC as well, who's been ongoing and enduring is Eddie. Um, everybody knows Eddie from his artwork. He donates a lot of this and he also sells it as booze. So big thanks to him for this donation. Uh, this is uh, the original print uh, and we're gonna put that up for auction as well. I'm sorry. It's an original, I not a print. This I is original. <laughs> <laughs> I have to be very it's original I got Xerox. Is from Render? Who gives me three? You got 250 for that. Oh. Sorry, somebody say something? 250. I've got 250 already from Render. You've got to go higher. 255. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll accept that <laughs> because it's a round number. <laughs> <laughs> the value just went from low. Who would give me 275? Going once for 256. Going twice for 256. Sold for a round number to render. That's American right. dollars, not Canadian, right? American dollars, not Canadian? Okay. He's like, maybe. He might be Canadian dollars. Ladies and gentlemen, now it's time for what you're waiting for. <laughs> So this is the Stargate, and it, if you don't, let me, let me just give you a brief history of the Stargate. Um, a, few, a few million years ago, a species was traveling around the galaxy. Uh, so actually, this was from a uh, schmuganography um, four years ago, yeah. something like that, five years ago. And uh, um, uh, it, all these little, the chevrons have something to do with the schmuganography contest mm -hmm. that year. And somehow it ended up back at my house, and it sat in my house in a hallway for the entirety of the year. Like, on the way down to the washing machine, it was just like laying in the hallway, collecting cat hair, and whatever. And so we brought it to, the, it ended up back at the con. Like, it, like people like, I'm like, grab everything in the basement, bring it to the conference. Okay, and somebody brought this to the back to the conference. I'm like, what the fuck? So, um, <laughs> that year they got the bright idea to auction it off as a charity event, and, and send it back to us. So like I had to keep it for another year, and so we it got auctioned off. Somebody paid a bunch. I think Blue Knight probably paid a bunch of money for it. Um, ended up back at our place. So then it came back the next year. And I'm like that shit cannot come here. So we paid for it to go somewhere else, um, and it went up to RIT. No, no, no. That was my. Oh, it went to him, and it was part of his wedding. There's wedding photos with the Stargate and Josh and Janice. We did a photo booth. We did a photo booth with this at the wedding, and it was incredibly popular. And there's a picture of you two in front of it. Yes, I love pictures of me in the Stargate. Yeah, jeez. Whoever wins gets a cop gets a copy. So, so as long as it goes with them. 
So then it came back, it got auctioned off again. That time it got auctioned off to RIT with, well, at the time, Professor Heim. And Where Howard. it was supposed to live permanently. It was supposed to live. And then Heim decided to quit. And, and so then I was just stranded at RIT. I this went, is cool. I went and recruited and I was supposed to bring it home. I forgot. Um, but somehow it found its way back down to DC yet again to be auctioned off for charity for the HFC. And, and uh, that goes with it, right? Well, I need the representative from whoever had it last to come. Forward. Oh, yes. Whoever. Yeah, the representative from the organization that had it last, so any rando RIT person will do. Uh, <laughs> David's coming up to claim it. This is your reward for holding on to this thing and bringing it back for yet another year. So thanks to David and the RIT crew for looking after it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. How about we don't send it home with you? We don't send it home with me, and Blue Knight can't put it on the plane. We send it to some random college... To be clear, Taryn has already said no. <laughs> Damn it! That was totally not a random college. I, I didn't mean that one. What? 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 I'm Jewish. Well, there's another ceremony you can perform underneath it. That's kind of weird, lady. <laughs> oh, wait. Yeah, the, um, the signatures look new to me, I think. No, that says 2007. That says 2018. Oh. Oh. Did the RIT I, I guess people, people sign have it? people been signing this, and we didn't know that. No, we didn't know it either. Oh, good, good. So, you know what's super frustrating is that people take this home and they reinforce it. No, so Here, yeah. I think we need some ground rules. I think the way that this should play out, if I may be so bold. Be bold. Be bold. I'm good. I'm good. I was just going to suggest whoever gets it decides what to do with it. We just don't That's normally what we... Yeah, what? but we you just put caveats on that. I, I don't care if we get it back. I, we, we'll make no, it I mean, back. that's usually what happens. Whoever gets it decides, I mean, yes, sort it. of where it goes. Yes. Bonfire. Bonfire. Right. Whoever wins decides where it goes. Whoever wins decides where it goes. Oh, the money's going to HFC. HFC. So, ladies and gentlemen, I already have a, two bids. What was your bid? 200 for the hospital where your kid's born. What was your bid? 2000 for the hospital where your kid's born. <laughs> wait, 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 stop. What's that, honey? Oh. Well. Uh, the kids knew. The kids knew. I hate you. All right, we got to move this. All right, I got $2,000 for the hospital. <laughs> Fuck. It might end up in an accidental bonfire. We'll see. Um, <laughs> I saw that. God bloody damn it. All right. Anybody else for t above 2,000? What? 2,500? I'll subsidize your ass. I got 2,000 going once, going twice. What's that? Fantastic. Where's it going? Can I kiss him? Can I kiss him? I'm down with that. $2,300. Come on. Come on. The liquor you've got right there will go for $25. You can do it. So I've got $2,500 going once. Going once, going twice. Fuck. So, no, 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 no.
I'm not taking it home. I'm not taking it home. Um, we, we don't have anyone from the Planetary Society to follow up with that. Uh, but uh, um, we, uh, we do appreciate the money. Every year we pick a charity that's uh, somehow involved with uh, the, the topic of the, the year. So, uh, all right, that was enough talk about Planetary Society. Um, is, is Logan or am I doing this? I'm pretty sure they want you to do it. Okay, I'm going to do this. Um, this year, Hack Fortress Finals, we had Team Not Ready for This against uh, Sparsa from RIT, which was actually a battle of last year's SmooCon winner, which was uh, Sparsa, and uh, th this year's uh, DEF CON winner, which was Team Not Ready for This. Team Not Ready for This was behind the entire match until the last 40 seconds. So in a 45 minute round, um, the team not ready for this managed to pull, uh, pull ahead. And what was really um, uh, kind of sad was watching the uh, RIT Team Fortress 2 players who have headphones on, they're talking, they're gaming, they've been winning for 44 and a half minutes and there's this huge scream and at the end of the match they take their headphones off and they look and they have lost. And you could see in their face, they were like, what the fuck? Like there was so much, like they had no clue that they had just gone down. So uh, anyway, big thanks to uh, Team Not Ready for this. They get to uh, come to the con next year to defend their title. So thanks very much. Uh, point three had a, a CTF. Uh, winner was I wish I was at ShmooCon. Apparently this is a remote CTF. Uh, <laughs> They got a one-year subscription to Escalate. Uh, Merman and Rob G took second and third. Both get subscriptions as well. You'll get info in email, probably from point three, or I may just spoof it. Um, sh um, Schmooganography, um, are they? Oh, they're coming. No, no, just take your time. They have nothing better to do. Uh, Oh, they, I guess they didn't know they were next, so I'm just being an asshole. Um, speaking of, so the t-shirt vein, like I do a lot of things to, um, um, I, caused my wife to get angry at me. And one was we were at the Columbia Mall and there was a guy walking down the mall wearing a uh, Bound of My Firewall shirt. And I pulled $100 out of my pocket and I said, I will give you $100 to give me that shirt right now. Um, and she was mortified. <laughs> I was gonna, the guy's like, oh, okay. And like, no, 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 no. So just so you know the going rate, you don't need to pay thousands of dollars. It's 100 bucks, I will buy them back off the market. All right, Shmooganography, this is our 13th year of uh, running this contest. And it's been a uh, phenomenal, uh, good time for everybody. How many people actually played in the audience? Tons of hands. Tons of hands are up. That's great. That's great. We had uh, 17 teams registered this year. Uh, and uh, we had one that actually came all the way to the end. I have $500 in cold cash for these folks. Team FT, FDG, please come up. We also gave uh, gift certificates to Three Blind Mice a couple times, Team FDG a couple times, because they also were the first to accomplish some of the uh, different stages. We're a five-stage game. It's all about stag at the conference. It all starts with the posters. And uh, I think you saw those throughout the con. There's a front, there's a back. The message is on the back. And actually, if you tilt the poster down, you can read it. Or you can just take a picture of it and squish it, which is what you see at the bottom of this slide. That will lead you to the next stage. And that is actually just a web server that looks at your user agent. And if you happen to like to use Lynx, which is a very obscure command line based browser, you'll actually find the, uh, the clue that'll take you to the next stage. <clears throat> this is actually a little bit of a rehash of a previous year where we had embedded some uh, messaging in the upper frequencies that most people don't hear. Uh, it's a little more difficult when you stream it via uh, IceCast because you can only go up to 800, mega, or 800 hertz. And usually you can hear that because it's streaming music. So we use techno because there's all kinds of weird things happening in techno anyway, so it just kind of blended in. <laughs> that leads you into the next stage. So this was actually supposed to be the fifth stage, but we made a couple goofs, but uh, <laughs> it, it became our fourth stage. And actually this is where it was meant to be, uh, file FS, where you're actually able to, or ping FS, we're actually storing files as ping uh, objects, ICMPs, floating around the network. And if you uh, assemble those all together, you'll actually see this image, but it doesn't stop there. You use the easy uh, Windows-based uh, steg hide tool. You actually pull out the uh, the four cards that are sitting there at the bottom. <coughs> that takes you. What did it say at the bottom of that card? Alaska Nerdery Store. So that is not us. We actually did not make that. That's a Google Images images search. So credit to them. Yes, right. yes, not us. <coughs> so the last stage and uh, probably one of the trickiest and it wasn't solved involves Z-Wave. So we actually replaced one of the hotel's uh, light bulbs out in the vendor area with a Z-Wave bulb. Uh, we had a little black box that was hidden underneath 
for a little while it wasn't, but hidden underneath one of the credenzas, and it was just sending color commands, but doing it in a very small way so you wouldn't see it. But actually, every one of those messages had some data in there that was basically exfilling information. So uh, we hadn't done Z-Wave yet. We've done a lot of Wi-Fi in the past, so that's what this was. And actually, I saw a few people using SDRs to go after this one, uh, but unfortunately, weren't able to pull it quite off. So the five code words were Cypher, Exploit, Morph, Echo, and Hexproof. These are all magic keyword abilities, and we figured that would be a clever. They all kind of overlap with the community that we're uh, targeting here. Very special thanks uh, to Prax Engineering, a CSRA company, uh, who uh, generously supported us in uh, providing us the, uh, the financial means to uh, make this game possible, especially those $500 that we just handed out. Other special thanks go to Magic the Gathering and all their awesome players, and, and there's a whole society around this uh, game, and I appreciate everyone that uh, came out to play because of that. Uh, Nick Bowe is actually my sister. She does the graphics for us, No Starch Press for the gift certificates, not just signs, who prints those signs for us. Several uh, free and open source projects that, uh, that we leveraged for this tool, because uh, as it turned out, there's one of the posters that had part of their logo. They were getting free beer from people. Like, it was a little confusing, but it worked out for them. Uh, our wives for letting us disappear for a weekend and not answer our calls and, and not uh, be tending to our uh, husbandly duties. And then Bruce and Heidi, of course, for tolerating our, uh, our shenanigans. If you have any questions, please send us an email. Thank you very much. See you later. Oh, yeah. There's one last thing. In the spirit of bowing to firewalls. Am I too loud? No, no, you're good. Okay, good. Uh, so in the spirit of uh, bowing to firewalls, and uh, because actually someone, one of the teams actually uh, emailed us to say, should I be yelling at the poster? Do I say bow to my firewall to the poster? Will it react? No, no, no. Yes, that's what you should go with. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'd like to present you this one. We think. Oh, thank you. Be uh, very funny. Yes. There you go. So, ah! <laughs> is this like a weird like trend, or did you all get together and talk about this? Because the moose, moose, the I just forgot the name of the thing. Ah! <laughs> the moose to moon mission. They they hit a bow to the firewall thing on their website too. Yeah, if you click on the star, one of the stars on their website, like the eyes float down, and then it, it uh, yeah. It was cool. You should go look. I should go look. Uh, I absolutely will. Um, uh, oh, there's no Kaizen uh, people coming to him? Oh, I could do it. Okay. Um, we like to thank Kaizen CTF for putting on the CTF again. It was nice to have it. Um, Jordan was here, um, uh, who used to run the uh, the old CTF, and uh, he kind of passed the torch Ghost along, the uh, Ghost in the Shell code, which was which was great. But it was aw awesome to have uh, Kaizen come in and, and fill in that gap. Uh, we had 286 players and some kind of weird throwback to old processors that aren't Spectre and Meltdown vulnerable um, across the, the 286 was a processor. People like. <laughs> You know, like back before the Pentiums and the three eights. I am old. Like, <laughs> holy God. Um, uh, 134 teams, um, fierce competition, much blood. And um, third place, Blue Mud. Uh, second place, Securisec. And not sure in first, but I assuredly am sure they got first place. So thanks very much to Kaizen and all the people that participated. <laughs> Coming? Here he comes. We should give them a warning. If you've ever done DEF CON closing ceremonies, it's like a production line, and there's this conveyor belt of people that come up and speak, and then they get shuffled off the stage. We're gonna, we don't do that. We're nice. Hi, Grex. Thanks, man. No problem. I appreciate it. Yep. Well, all right. So, first of all, I just want to say thank you. This was probably one of the greatest fire talks we've had in recent years. So, um, I just really, it was just so much fun. So, um, we had a lot of people turn out. Uh, a lot of the speakers were very inventive this year. <laughs> we had an in-costume um, dungeon master. So I don't know, is, uh, is uh, Tess here? I don't know if she want to stand up. Okay, well, she's not going to stand up, but she's right there. We also had kind of like an English or uh, English fireside theme. Is Bryson here? Of course not. Okay. I didn't say that. I was just repeating Zach Barbie. Okay. Um, and then I think like the funnest one was kind of this whole WWF style George Thorogood walk on music. So, uh, so <laughs> that was fun. I think all the judges really liked that. So, Zach Barbie, who's sitting up front here. Um, so, I did want to just thank everybody else who submitted. I wanted to thank all the speakers. I wanted to thank the judges. I 
Katie's over there. This is year two for Katie, so yay. And then the other thing that I really appreciate about having Katie on the team here is that she took the in, uh, incentive and she created an official Fire Talks judging rubric. So, so we're going to be much more consistent in the coming years. And inconsistent, okay. Um, and then kind of a step on... Uh, uh, Judge is we had Donna Dobson, who was the keynote speaker. So just wanted to thank her, although I don't, I don't know if, if she's here. Um, so the other thing, too, is we found out, after she found out that we were giving prizes, she, she came up to us and said that she had to recluse herself from being a judge. But she was still a great sport. I know. No, like knowing the job that she's in, she was probably up at like 5 a.m. and she was up with us till probably like 11 p.m. So that's like 17, 18 hours straight. So we really appreciate the uh, time that uh, it, she was just a, she was just a great sport. So thank you, Donna, if you're out there somewhere. Um, and then lastly, I always want to thank um, Bruce and Heidi. I mean Heidi and Bruce. Sorry. No. <laughs> No, just for, it was almost, so I was looking through my notes, and I think this is year nine for fire talks, and so I really wanted to, you know, next year is going to be that, you know, 10 years. So I just wanted to thank them for allowing this to start nine years ago. It was at the end of a fire hall. I think Mubix is here. Him and a bunch of people organized these things, and, 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 and then along the way, I kind of took it over. So just standing on everybody's sho shoulders here. Um, but back down to the winners. Um, so third place was um, libation, escal escalation, scotch, and bubbles. Sec Barbie. So if you want to stand up, I'm like, just stand up and we'll all clap so that we can go through this faster. And I will email you your prize, which in this case is just gift certificates of various values. In, in, unless there's a charity that you would like me to give it to. Uh, <laughs> No, but she had just a very fun talk, very inventive, lots of audience participation. So great talk there. Uh, the second place, uh, kind of getting on the technical side, I was lost about halfway. Whoa. No. <laughs> this is my call to get off stage. So. Um, all right, so sec se second place was by John Erickson, Stack Cleaning, a quest for hunting, or a quest in hunting for flirt. So is John here? John, stand up. Okay. And then first place, and this is like for anybody that's new to speaking and is just nervous, they had this one, they did this one thing that I recommend everyone doing. If it's your first time speaking and you're just scared, get out there, find a partner and do like a two person thing because it's so much easier just to bounce ideas off one another. So uh, that talk, first place this year is uh, the first thing we do, let's kill all the CISOs by Alexander Romero. Oh, what? What? There were two things wrong with that. Oh, I'm sorry. What? Nothing. Nothing. I said it. Right. Well, well, well. They kill all, and then they had the CISOs. It's kind of in brackets. What? CISO. Oh, CISO. 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 Well, it was in brackets, so I guess it was up to me, right? At least that was the talk title. Um, so Alexander Romero and Steve Luvinsky. So thank you. Are you guys here? Stand up. I will contact you. After, hey. so we have like for the first place is a five hundred dollar gift card of your choosing two fifty, and for second place and one fifty for third place. Um, you, we used to have we used to have physical prizes, but people didn't like bringing like quadcopters home through the airport. So, so we just went to gift cards. But I just want to say thank you, thank you, and I'm out. Thanks, Rex. I appreciate you running it. Any guesses? Urbane had a contest. They gave away a Nintendo Switch, the greatest gaming console ever made, uh, to Kate Heineman. Uh, thanks. Heineman? 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 I can't. Uh, Whatever. Kate got it. Yay! Thanks, Urbane. Thanks, Kate. Woo!
Um, <laughs> there's a big woo in the back, presumably from Kate. Oh, oh uh, yeah, is she here? No? No. Okay. Okay. Oh, right. Uh, ham radio exams, we had um, uh, 31 exams taken, uh, 12 new technicians and two new generals. Adam and Lindsay, here? Adam and Lindsay ran the, they're over there. Yay. Thank you so much for running the ham radio exams. Thank you to everyone who is, uh, who is new to ham or. Look, I did a boo boo. Uh, what? Yeah, she just saw it. Yeah, I, yeah, whatever. Shh. That's, that's not as Next bad slide. a sin as the other one. Uh, Polarity uh, had, uh, is giving away an FPV racing quad to Samir uh, Ella Queen. Uh, I think, was it up here earlier? Um, or is that not theirs? I don't know. Lockheed's, all right. Well, Polarity, thank you very much. So, yay, Polarity. <laughs> Videos. <laughs> Woo! Yay, Ted. Ted came back the very next day. Thought he was a goner, but Ted came back. Um, uh, we're happy that Ted's here again. Uh, all the videos will be uploaded to archive.org before too long. Um, usually Squidly, who unfortunately couldn't join us this week, uh, is the one who does it. And I think she'll probably be the one Still doing it again. Uh, so thanks to Ted, thanks to Squidly for uh, putting all that in. So we'll have it up on archive soon. Uh, and thanks to the whole streaming crew and taping crew for making it all happen. Uh, yeah, no throwing of the prizes, please. Oh my God, we're going to give away prizes now, and it's going to turn turn awesome. into chaos. So prepare yourself. Um, it's already chaos Just up here. Tossing or handing. Yeah, the broken glass bags have to be handed directly. You can't throw the gl gro broken glass bags. Um, so. Um, Lockheed Martin had a contest. They gave a Wi-Fi pineapple to Derek, a mechanical keyboard to Sid, and the Bug 3 drone to Joseph. So thanks very much to Lockheed. And they're, up here. Uh, and they're up here, so they actually need to come up here if they're here to get it. Jackie, Jackie can come up and take care of that. Oh, Jackie, why don't you come up and take care of that? If there are people here. Okay. Uh, um, no, no, you are not throwing the glass. All right, we're almost at the end. This is where we start our thank yous, but we will wait for just a second. Do not hit the baby. I see the baby. Hi, baby. <laughs> I'm the baby. Gotta love me. I can't believe I just did that. <laughs> Whatever. Big purple eyes. No, all right, so um, just a big thank you to all the outside organizations that ran events here. I think I got them all, but we've got the Wireless Village, we've got Tool, we've got, I'm not even gonna say it right, those guys that we just thanked right over there. Schmooganography and Allocated Space comes every year and judges the Bar Barcode Smart Code Contest, and we got Kaizen CTF this year. So big thank you to all of them for helping us out. Big thank you. Big, big, huge thanks to all our sponsors. They help, uh, you know, pay for the party and pay for the space and do all that kind of stuff. So big thanks to all of them who came out. Uh, big thank you to all our speakers. Again, we had 67 speakers, 42 were new to ShmooCon and six were new to speaking in general. I think got really great feedback on the talks so far, so we hope you enjoyed that. Big thanks to all the speakers. And of course, thanks to all of you, the attendees. We wouldn't be here without you. That'd be weird. Um, yeah. Well, no, never mind. Um, <laughs> It'd be a lot easier. <laughs> Somebody just sent me the I'm the baby video. <laughs> yeah, she won't use Wi-Fi, but she's got Bluetooth on. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, I did want to mention that we every year do a session on Sunday called Own the Con. So we did that earlier today. It will be up with all the other videos, but it is all the ins and outs and background information about running ShmooCon. And so if you have any questions, I encourage you to watch that and then you can ping us for more information later. But it goes way more in depth than we do at opening or even at closing. Or It, it just gives you all the financials, all the uh, uh, metrics on like the CFP and all the, I don't even know, what else did we talk about today? Stuff, it's got stuff in it. So there, that was my one plug for more information. You know, I hate doing this and you just make it harder on me. 
All right, I'm going to, if you are one, a member of the staff, if you have your shirt on or not, I'd like you to stand up, come forward if you can, but if you all could just gather down there, because really, none of this happens without these guys. These are the reason, these people are the reason why ShmooCon happens. Bruce and I stand up here and we get to be the face, but I am telling you, this is the, this is it. And they're not all here, unfortunately, but this, um, we have the best team ever. So it obviously uh, uh, takes a pretty wide diversity of, of people and roles to make um, the, uh, any conference happen, and so we've been very fortunate to have a great group of volunteers and staff and, and people associated with the con that helped us out uh, year over year. Here's the list. I'm not going to read it to you, um, but logistically, there's a lot of moving parts, uh, and I'll be honest, like it's, it's remarkable how many of those moving parts operate correctly and without oversight and guidance, you know, we don't have to get in and be like, you need to do it. Everyone just does, does what they need to do. So um, it's amazing how smoothly a con of this size um, can run. Um, and it's just a testament to the work that all these individuals and the people that helped us along the way have put in. So again, from, from Heidi and me, that thanks very much for making all this happen. Sadly, this is the end. This is the end. Why not? Okay, she's like, I can't go. That's not when it is. Okay, well, yeah. Okay, ShmooCon 2019 is canceled. Um, Why would you even know? People would be so. No. She just told me she can't come. Oh, okay, Michelle can't make it. We're done. Yeah. Um, so those are the dates for next year. It is back on Martin Luther King Jr. weekend for some strange reason. Um, so y'all get Monday off to recover. You're welcome. Um, we hope the shutdown's over by then. <laughs> or who knows? Maybe there'll be a new one. Um, is 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 Dodger still here? Dodger, are you available that weekend? Maybe I'll have to check my diary. Well, if you are, we are. His Just diary. You are. <laughs> diary. God, what country are you from? Uh, all right, you guys. Thanks everybody for coming. We are done. Oh.